Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Elizabeth Madero and today I'm gonna to share with you a video I don't think I have filmed before. I don't think I have, but I know it's the most requested video ever. All right, so you've probably already seen by the title, but I'm gonna share with you guys the story of how and why I became a vegetarian. So, I've shared this story before, but I don't think I've done like a whole YouTube video about it. And if you decide to eat meat, I'm not anti you, you do you. I'm just gonna share my perspective. And if you're vegan and you're one step further than I am, you do you and I will support you. But please don't leave me any mean comments because this is just sharing my journey and how I feel and what's best for me. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I probably would have become a vegetarian as a teenager. I remember sitting at the dinner table and looking at my chicken and my little sister who was seven years younger and still is seven years younger, she would sit there and make the animal sound of the chicken or if we were eating steak or a burger, she would make the sound just to bother me because she knew I was a pretty sensitive kid and loved animals like so, so much. I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was younger until I realized vets have to see animals when they're sick and hurting and give shots and all those things. And I thought, I don't think I could handle that because I love them so much. So that's kind of where I was at. And I remember sitting there looking at the food on the table and my dad would just say, stop it and eat your dinner. <laughs> so I did. But I think if I had had the opportunity, I would have or felt stronger about it. I might have become a vegetarian then. So fast forward um, six years ago, maybe seven years ago. I need to look at the date. Um, but it was this weekend where I was watching tons of different documentaries about healthy living. I was on this path of health and wellness. That's why I started this YouTube channel. You guys have seen this progression of me sharing about health, wellness, essential oils, and now fitness. I just want to be the best version I can be. And my goal isn't to just keep this for myself. It's always to help and share others. So what I'm learning along the way, I want to share with you guys and hopefully encourage you and inspire you to live your healthiest life, whatever that looks like for you. So I was watching all these different documentaries, was learning so much, and I was watching on, on uh, Netflix some documentaries. And when you watch things on Netflix, it recommends other things on Netflix for you to watch. So in this one weekend, I watched a documentary called Hungry for Change. I also watched one called Forks Over Knives, and then I watched one called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, which is not as scary as it sounds. It's about juicing and living a healthier life. And essentially, what these foods can do for you if you're eating plant-based and the conditions and the terribleness of animals if you're not eating plant-based and what those look like. And so I made a I didn't make a decision then. I was just watching and my eyes were opened, so much so that I shared with my family. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like you won't believe all this. And my eyes were just like, I was just enlightened. So this was Easter weekend. And then on Easter Sunday morning, um, our family got together as we always do. And there was a big giant roasted ham. And I remember just standing there and looking at it. Like I had this decision to make, like, was I gonna eat it? Was I not? And nobody knew I was going through this conflicting moment, but I was like, I don't think I can. After everything I watched, I was like, I don't think I can do it. So I didn't claim to be a vegetarian that first full year. My mom would make comments and be like, oh, you're a vegetarian, or can you even eat that because you don't eat meat? And I wouldn't say, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a vegetarian because what if I decide I want to at some point? But after a year, it was kind of safe to say, yeah, I'm not. I'm a, definitely a vegetarian and I, do, I don't eat meat. I don't eat a lot of animal products like eggs or dairy, but I do consume some. So if it's in a cake or things like that, like we even use uh, vegetarian butter at our house. I prefer sherbet over dairy-based ice creams, like that kind of thing, but I'm not anti. Um, I just feel better when I don't consume it. So it's been six years or so now, could be seven. I need to do the research, I need to look back. And what was that date? Um, I think I actually made a blog post about it and that's how I know I used to blog um, about how long it's been. So since then, I've had quite a few of you guys ask me like, how do I make this work? Because my children are not vegetarian and my husband is not vegetarian. And so I think I'll have to share like some of my tips of how do I make this work? How do I live a vegetarian lifestyle when they don't? So I've already shared about like the butter, um, but I make sure that when I do buy meat for our family, it's organic. 
I, I try my very, very best to buy the best quality ingredients I can for them. We buy organic eggs and we just do the best we can. And I know it's more expensive, but I just feel like it's worth it. Um, when it comes to making meals, I do what I would normally eat. So if we're doing, let's say, hot dog and fries for the family that night for dinner, I have a veggie patty that I heat up in the air fryer and I dress it up like it's a hot dog. I know they have vegetarian hot dogs. I've tried them. I really don't like them. But I do like a veggie patty in the air fryer and I will put a pickle on it and some lettuce and ketchup and mustard and I will have it like it's a hot dog. Uh, same thing with veggie burgers. If we're gonna do burgers on the grill, I'll do a black bean burger and do it that way. If we're doing chicken sandwiches, I'll get a veggie chicken sandwich. If we're going to have like pasta and meatballs, I just won't have the meatballs. Then there's more creative recipes. So if you're trying to become a vegetarian and people around you are not, um, you can just make sandwiches without the meat and do more veggies. So it takes being creative. One of the things that I love and my family loves is chicken pot pie. So I make a chicken pot pie for them. And the way that I do this for me is um, I'll make all the ingredients on the stove. Instead of chicken stock, I use veggie stock. So I can use it and eat it too. And then what I do is before I add the shredded chicken to that pot, I will portion out two ladles of it for me and put it on the stove top in a separate dish. And I will add one of my favorite veggies that maybe they wouldn't want, so like broccoli. And broccoli will take the place of the chicken and the chicken pot pie for me, whereas they're gonna have theirs loaded with chicken. And maybe I'll do a second pie crust just for me and make a second one, or I'll just have the chicken pot pie without the crust. So there's all kinds of recipes that I do where I just swap it out. Um, and I'd love to share with you guys more. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about being a vegetarian. Um, only nice things to say though, please, because I know people can be very heated about food. People are very like, this is the way it has to be. And I just feel like this is the way it has to be for me. And if I can encourage you or help you along the way on your journey in any way, just let me know. Um, because I'm not anti-meat eaters. My whole family is. I just can't do it for me. I just can't after all I saw in those documentaries. It's just too much for me. But um, I hope you found this video helpful. And um, know that I'm cheering you on wherever you are. And if you need more help on this journey, I'm here to support you guys. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.